All right, so I have another unboxing video for everybody. Uh, this box came my way on Friday via UPS from Volks USA, and it is actually not mine. This is another one that I got permission to open from one of my friends whom I ordered this for. I already cut this one open just because I wanted to make sure that everything was in here before I started doing the video. What are we doing, Momo? Anyway, I have a box inside a box. Just makes it a little awkward. And as you can see, there's a Momo. Right here. She certainly loves to help me open these things. Aren't you just cute? Okay. So, as far as packaging from Volks goes, they've used these sort of I guess cardboard hurdles in here. Momo wants to know what's in here. So, I wonder, okay, so I placed this order for my friend Uriko Hime on Thursday, October 13th, 2011 and received this on Friday, which would have been September 14th. Literally, 11 months almost to the day and she's finally here. I'll do a little bit of background as I'm opening. Um, but first I have some bonus outfits. Uh, this we have Saber Alter's uh, school training outfit with little black sneakers. This won't show up super super well on film but that's been included. Don't chew on that, Momo. That's not yours. Um, and here we have the bonus Saber swimsuit. Uh, it's actually just, it's not even really black so much as gray with black trim. It probably isn't showing up super, super great, but that's how that's gone down. Now, as I struggle to get this out of the box, I'll explain why it's almost an entire year between when I ordered this doll and when she showed up. And what happened was, back during September, October of last year, Volks offered pre-orders for Saber Alter and Saber Extra. Uh, they didn't put any sort of limit on the number of pre-orders that a person could make. Um, and because of this, they ended up getting inundated. They had so many orders. It was nuts. Um, it got to the point where they actually had to break up the orders into different batches and release the orders that way um, in order to like actually be able to make everything. They had so many. Uh, originally these were all supposed to ship for Volks USA much earlier this year. I think probably around April, May. And then the second shipment was supposed to be like June, July, but because of the backlog, uh, it was broken into a couple orders in Japan and those were filled first. So anyone that ordered from, um, Volks International or Volks Japan got theirs first. And then the U S ones were after, uh, so because of so many orders, everything got broken up. Uh, and so this saber is part of the second batch to Volks USA, which is the final batch sent out. So towards the end of the production run. Now I still have uh, a Saber Extra, which Sam and I ordered as a surprise for our friend Bob, who's down in San Francisco. Uh, so his hasn't shipped yet. There's about uh, 300 uh, numbers between this order number and that order number and it still hasn't shipped yet. Uh, I'm hoping it ships this week but it'll go directly to him so you won't get to see me do a Saber Extra review anytime soon. But we do have Saber Alter version 2 so I'll stop talking about the boring part like waiting and get on with the show. Alright so here's her box. Um, this paper that you can almost kind of not see is actually um, a warning about her wig. It has like an illustration that says, warning when put 
putting Saber's wig on. Please do not grasp or pull by her hair bun. It is very delicate and can become damaged. Please hold wig by fabric band within the base of the wig when setting wig in place on Dee Dee's head. Volks cannot offer replacement for damaged wigs, so please handle with care. Um, this sort of warning was also given on Saber Lily's box uh, because her ponytail was super, super fragile and you didn't want to pull by it. But even if you didn't pull by it, sometimes it just fell off anyway because the wigs were so poorly put together. Um, other companies that have done ponytail wigs didn't have these same problems, so maybe this is a Volks thing. Uh, anyway, I will now unwrap this bad boy. Uh, the box is, um, a really, it's actually, uh, on the sides, it's gradient black going to sort of, a indigo, so like a blue purple. Um, we have like a beautiful picture of Saber Altar and showing that it's, uh, what is it, Fate's, uh, 10th anniversary. Uh, there's a chandelier that's been drawn on the back, or at least a photograph of one. Um. And we have uh, the Volk sticker that reveals the price and all that stuff, as well as a holographic sticker to confirm authenticity, though there are no bootleg Dolphy dreams that I know of. Uh, so, differences between the second version of Saber Altar and the first version of Saber Altar uh, are the body. Instead of being a DD2 body, this is on a DD3 body. And... She has a different outfit. Uh, the original one came with this sort of black Lolita outfit. This one comes with a black sort of gothic dress. Uh, the face-ups, as far as I know, are super, super similar, if not identical. The face molds are identical. Um, and she's a white skin, so I'm going to open. Yeah, I will tip you down so you guys can see what I see. All right, so without further ado, a saber emerges! So, I will take this off. Um, I got permission from Eriko Hime to go through her because I wanted to make sure that as far as quality control was concerned that she had everything that she was supposed to have in her box. So, first things first, we have her papers, which has a beautiful photo uh, done by Volks. I feel like the sabers can't photograph poorly. Um, this will probably inside, I won't open this because I want to leave everything as mint as I can for her. Uh, the back has an instruction guide on how to put part of her outfit on. I, I know that um, uh, way, way, way back when uh, just after the Jalpa where they had a couple of these available or the gathering event where they had some available, uh, they put up a video on how to put her little um, bolero jacket on because it's a little difficult and very tight um, and down at the bottom it has like um, that would be and show like all of the pieces this outfit's supposed to come with so I'll probably have to slide it around a little just to make sure I see everything that's supposed to be in here so um, points lost for Volks uh, they got a little overzealous on tying this ribbon and it actually broke. Uh, so her top part wasn't even held in. Her bottom part was slipping off. Uh, these bows are tied really tight and a little sloppy. Uh, normally I would be uh, a little, like that's not a normal sort of Volks quality thing, but due to how much extra work these dolls made for Volks and how they've affected their production runs as far as their regular bodies and everything. Um, I'm not going to hold it against them, uh, but really like that's, that's pretty, that's pretty sad. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. Um, but here she is in her plastic. I will take her out just to make sure that all of her joints are working properly. She's an embossed on a DD3 white skin body, uh, which is now finally available for purchase in parts from Volks International. Uh, she has a Saber Altar default face up and default eyes. We'll, I'll 
dig her out and take a good look at her in a minute. I just want to make sure everything else is in this box. So I'm going to remove the top layer and we're down to what's inside. So it's all laid out pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a print off in here uh, talking about the new body, how to take it apart, how to attach things, removing the arms, um, changing the hands, all that sort of thing for the DD3s and the DDSs. Those bodies are super, super similar. Uh, the DDS is about 10 centimeters smaller than the DD3. Uh, the new dynamite similar to that too, so that's a handy little guide. Uh, we have her wig, big black bow, everything looks fine. It's still attached to the cardboard. All uh, all character dolls from Volks, uh, with especially the limited or even pre-order specials, um, the mint, when the wig hasn't been removed from here, there's actually a little plastic uh, tag that goes from the cardboard through into the wig cap. So that's so you can tell if a wig's ever been really removed. Uh, so I won't even touch that. It looks fine. I'll leave that for Uriko to play with. Now, we have her outfit, which is actually in a large bag with some tape. Um, I'm going to see if I can make sure everything's in here without opening it. I may just have to pop the tape just to make sure everything's in there. I don't want to send this doll off to her forever home without being able to make sure all the pieces are there. Here's her boots. They're actually a dark purple with black lacing on the back and a black heel. Uh, they're really cute. Um, I like them a lot. Uh, kind of a little bit of a cowboy boot meets Victorian boot flare. Uh, the dark, dark purple is very subtle. I don't even know if it's going to show up properly on film. And here is her sword. I'm just going to open to make sure that uh, it's all in one piece. It looks like it's been rammed in here. Uh, and it looks fine. Here's the sword. I'll let it go in the box so you can actually see it against a white background. It's um, either a really, really dark purple or a black. It's a little hard for me to tell even in my own lighting with uh, a nice sort of a red markings on both sides of the sword. A nice large handle. Uh, super similar in size and style to the swords uh, that Saber Lily and uh, first version Saber comes with. Uh, there's nothing super noteworthy. Inside of the box is silver. Everything looks like it's been... It looks like they've really been working hard to get through their quality control and get these girls out into their new homes. Um, so, thank you, Volks, for all of your hard work. Let's take a look at this body, shall we? So. Uh, she comes. Now, another difference between this Saber Altar and the first version is this one has the squishy head cap, which will make it a lot easier to take out eyes if it's needed. Although, I find her default eyes to be very pretty. They're like a golden yellow brown. I don't know how well it's going to show up in this light, but that's her face. So you guys can see uh, a very serious, somber expression. The M bust. Um, her one arm. We go. It's a little loose on this side, um, and a lot tighter on that. Uh, I don't know if that would be considered a defect, is how loose this is. Uh, I may bug Volks about it. I will ask uh, her owner if she wants me to bother Volks about this looseness. If she does, then I will. If not, then I'll ship it on to her. Uh, the arms are nice and stiff, which is great. Uh, I don't know if these DD3 bodies will have the same sort of uh, crack preventers that some of the newer bodies have. 
Uh, for those in the hobby right now, uh, a lot of people have been hearing about uh, DD3 bodies and their fragility. They're, there's a lot of cracking issues. Uh, a lot of cracking in the interior uh, socket that holds the arms, which causes floppy arms or arms that can't stay in. Uh, cracking in the hips, which is causing loose legs or legs that won't stay in. Uh, and Volks has been working to try and fix this by changing the design, beefing up the sockets, cutting notches into the pegs to help kind of relieve the pressure. Um, so far, uh, I haven't had a whole lot of issues, but we have had to we have had to fix bodies because I've a lot of my girls have cracked in the upper frame, and a lot of my friends have had girls that are cracked in the upper frame. So that kind of sucks. But growing pains, it's kind of part of it. Is a nice thing about the DD3 is they have this range of motion in their leg, which was never present in the DD2. It's probably one of my favorite features of the new body, uh, next to the joint stiffness. Now. Just making sure that everything looks good in here. Um, so far, so I'm not. I'm looking for cracks in her, in the hips. The socket fits onto the peg. The socket's on the thigh part, and the peg is on the leg part. Oh, good news for those that are on the second run. The white skin DD threes and probably the normal skins, have the grooves in their pegs. The first few runs of these girls were on the old design, but it looks like the later runs are on the new design, which means that they're less likely to crack, which is excellent news for people that are waiting. So sometimes they say thing, good things are worth the wait. Uh, in this case, I would say a uh, huge bonus uh, on anyone that's had to wait almost an entire year for these girls, you're in for a treat because Volks has used the updated bodies on these girls. So you have notches in your pegs, uh, the pieces are a bit more beefed up, cracking is a lot less likely. So humongous thumbs up, that's awesome news. I'm sure that uh, Saber's owner is going to be thrilled to hear that. I know I'm thrilled to see that since uh, my own sabers which will be my wedding present next year also have uh are from the later runs which means that they're very likely to have the newer bodies uh it's a bit shiny on the inside of this hand looks like it got missed with a uh, clear like uh, the matte spray uh that's not a big deal uh checking it out Things seem pretty good overall. Uh, I'll email, once the owners watch this video and has given me the all clear, I will send it to her. Um, like I said, there's only one loose hand. Uh, it's not a super big deal. Uh, we can try and fix it, but because Volks is covering this under warranty, anything that she wants fixed, we can worry about now before she goes anywhere. It's not super bad. Um, I'll let her be the one to decide. Uh, if it was my girl, I probably just keep her and modify her because that's hardly a, an issue uh, in my books. So she's a beautiful doll. Uh, I know a lot of people wanted the original one. The original Saber Altar went for crazy money. Like we're talking thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of yen. Uh, so when they announced basically version two, which is a re-release of the original, it kind of crashed the market a little bit. Demand for her outfit was still high, but because you could get her on the new body, soft head cap, basically the same girl, um, it was great for people that really wanted her because they had an opportunity to get her finally. Um, but terrible news for scalpers. Uh, so you win some, you lose some. Uh, she's a beautiful doll. I would recommend her to anybody. Uh, there, luckily, there's very many of them because a lot of people bought these dolls with the intention on reselling them, which we call, if they mark it up anyway, we call scalpers. So there are a lot of scalpers out there that are selling these girls. Luckily, there's so many of them that's kind of brought the price down. Um, I've seen Saber Alter version 2 on Yahoo Japan for around around the 100,000 to 130,000 yen mark, which is... 
about $1,500 roughly with the exchange rate. Um, so she's quite obtainable, uh, still very expensive. Uh, on pre-orders with Volks USA, these girls were dirt cheap for uh, anybody that had a dollar that was stronger than the US. So for euros and for Canadian dollars, she was an excellent buy. She was only about $630. So, I'm very sorry for those of you that missed the pre-order period because it was awesome. So, that's my review. I'm going to look over the outfit and make sure all the pieces are there. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or I didn't address something right, just comment down below. Uh, to see my other reviews, uh, check out my channel. I have a whole playlist of them. Uh, and look forward to more reviews. As you ladies and gentlemen can see, there are many, including uh, a couple new girls up there. I will send you a cookie if you can guess a new girl. And anyone that already saw me live yesterday can't guess because that's cheating. So, there. I hope you all enjoyed and I look forward to talking to you some more later.